You got any weight on there? Uh, I'm not sure what it equates to, but it's a 45 and a 25, so. It is what it is. I'm watching it in bed? <laughs> Good. Thanks for tuning in. I have not given up on the Witcher playthrough either, no. Nope. I want to do more than that, too. Lots of really fun games right now. Yeah, God of War is great. It's awesome. I want to play more Witcher. I want to play more Monster Hunter. Lots of fun games going on right now. Obviously, keep the WoW going. Ugh, got some options. Well, Elden Ring when it comes out, yeah. Yep. Yeah, the variety's been a lot of fun. Yep. Yep. Funny enough, Steve Hill does support things to get you jacked, yeah. It's definitely the weak point in my current situation, but. Uh, we're hanging in there, I guess, right? sleep at all, just not sleeping as much as I probably could benefit from, but hey man, I got shit to do. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta work. Gotta work, man. But I think this will be what we do today. Do some hex, hex bars and leg isolation stuff. You have no problem sitting, I promise making up. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any problems sleeping either, it's just it's a, a schedule thing. Just got, got a lot of stuff that I need to do. And uh, sometimes sleep is the only real thing that you can give, you know? Uh, So it is what it is. You gotta, you gotta activate that discipline, you know what I mean? You gotta get to it. When it's time to get up, got to do it. Got to do it. <clears throat> we should be gamer and gym rat at the same time. How do you say motivated? That's, that's what I'm talking about. It ain't really motivation, right? I mean, in my situations, I just love both of them. And I'm lucky enough to be in a situation where I can Incorporate them both into my life, but yeah, it's a discipline thing, man. You gotta, you gotta make a decision and budget your time, energy, and efforts accordingly, right? Be steady. What's up, man? Ugh. Now I'm not. I don't play with the with that colorful bar, but that's for the that's for the big dog only. I don't play with that. Lymph node is still a little weird, but I think it should be alright. Yeah, the switch on an exercise bike is, is huge. I generally train every day. And you're welcome to tune in every day, too. The schedule is somewhat variable these days, but he's trying to get in here and get it done. Oh. He's trying to get in here and do it. Uh. Got to. Have the lymph node? Uh, just. Just the risk, my body's response to the booster shot is all. I got the got the third uh, the third round on Tuesday, and so 
this, you know, shoulder spine. I don't feel bad, just lymph nodes still kind of swollen a little bit. So I can feel it when I do, when I like flex like that, right? No biggie. No biggie. Yeah. But we're just gonna try to do some, some hex work and uh, pump the legs a little bit tonight. I think it'd be good. Now, I took two days off and then I did like a little upper body pumper session yesterday and we'll do a little lower body pumper session tonight and go from there. Well, these new chatters, what's up guys? What up, what up? How's the handy team? Glad to have you here. Welcome to the Saturday night pump sesh. A little lower body pump action today I think. Like I was saying, next bar and we got this wonderful uh, Leg isolation thing. This blood in the walls and the hands. Oh, we go from there. What's up, what's up? It's a wonderful setup. Guess it's hard to be a streamer, father, husband at the same time. I mean, it's a lot less hard than a lot of other things, but it does take effort and I guess a little time management, but. Nothing else I'd rather be doing. Like the perfect thanks. <laughs> How many sets? A lot. Well, keep tuning in, Saitama. Keep tuning in, bro. Last time you typed in the chat was about three years ago, so... You know, if you enjoy the content, want to see it grow, tune in, hang out, you know? I appreciate the... Uh, the encouragement and the uh, desire to see our community grow. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, I'm working towards it. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well, thanks for watching the Warrior stuff back in the day. You know, I, I feel like we have an interesting opportunity now to, you know, figure out what we want to do, you know? What would the next little while look like, right? Still love wow, but I like expanding our content a little bit, and that's been really fun, so. Oh, 10 years in the game, still looking for ways to improve and grow and pivot and whatnot, so, yep. Oh, just still grinding. <laughs> do the things that I love, you know? Can't ask for much more than that, right? And I'm very grateful for your support over the years of making it possible. Hey, Tripsy, thank you so much, dude, for the resub. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, Lost Ark will be fun, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, if you guys like the content, stick around. Follow the stream. We'll take care of them, them crime subs for you, too, if you've got one laying around. Oh, keep on pumping. Oh, oh. 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 oh hell yeah, frustrated. Sounds good, man. Sounds good to me. Proud of you, dude. Way to work. That's hype. Ugh. But yeah, we're just gonna keep on working. And I think we'll still, I mean, definitely still incorporate by what we do. In a big way, it's just, we've been, not only playing well recently, and it's been, it's been cool. It's a new opportunity that comes with, you know, some anxiety and some need to rebuild and something new, but so far so good, you know? I can handle that. 
Yeah, I do think we'll be playing quite a bit of Lost Ark when it comes out, yep. That'll probably be our main thing when it comes out. Yeah, at least for a little while, get a feel for it and see what it would be, you know? I had a blast putting in uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of time to work in the New World, for example, right? That was, that was really fun. Really fun. So, plan to do that with Lost Ark too, right? Really get into it and see what it's about. Have some fun with it, you know? Looking forward to it. We still got a little bit of time before it comes out, but I mean, I, I really like my games menu that we've got going on right now. With, with you know, Monster Hunter, Witcher 3, now God of War, in addition to WoW or whatever else you want to do, right? Pretty cool gaming menu. And the number of daily games and work staying busy. Family stuff too, you know? Staying busy. That works. Uh, no, I'm not doing two workouts today. This is just. It's the weekend, so this is, you know, I'm hanging out with Archer all day to try to give Jenny some time to chill and do her thing. And then, uh, you know, once uh, Archer gets ready for bed, me and Mama head up there, and it's time for me to go hit the gym, you know, that's just kind of, just kind of lifting where I can, you know. This is when I can get it in today, so here we are. Yep. Taking the opportunity to put some work in. And I don't know what the gaming menu looks like tonight, it, it seems like that we'll be probably chilling on the games tonight. Maybe going to bed early, um, but... Uh, we could game a little bit, but I knew, you know, one way or another. We started out in the gym, you know, see how it goes. We started out in the gym and see where that leads us. Woo! Did I, I used to eat peanut butter sandwiches a, a ton in college. The peanut butter sandwiches served me well. Yep. Definitely had my time. Hammer the TV and J. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Been there. Uh, Been there. Peanut butter bagels. Yep, yeah, those count too. Those count. That'll get it going. Too. Let's do some viral content. Let's see you do something with family and friend. You know, we used to do more real life content, but I think sometimes right now, when we have time with family and friends, it's almost like time away from content creation, right? But it's something that I think about, yeah. I said family vlogs in the future would be fun. I'm with you on that. We're not spending a ton of time with family and friends these days because of, uh, you know, kind of just staying locked down for the most part. But when my mom and dad come visit, you know, most of us enjoy that time together. You know what I mean? But 
think in the future doing like family vlogs would be fun. Yeah. <clears throat> if you're training for a study, how much cardio should you throw in? Uh, I mean, I guess that just be sort of a preference thing. You don't need to do any cardio for aesthetics, but you could also add in cardio if you wanted to. I don't remember the price tag on the gym, but it was an investment. It was considerable. And we didn't, we didn't you know, get this until we had our own home, so. But you don't really need cardio at all just for aesthetics. But you could throw in, you know, however much makes sense to you and however much you enjoy, right? So. Bumping. Alright, well, get your diet right, Gwena. Exclamation mark fat loss. Right? It's not about cardio, right? It's about the, the deficit, but you can use cardio to help achieve a deficit. It makes you feel good, too. And be crazy, thanks for 68 months, dude. Big flex for you. <clears throat> Can you say it maintenance cows? You don't have much mass? Why would you say it maintenance cows? I mean, you, you can, it just hasn't, like, what are, what are your goals? Like, if you, if you stay at maintenance and train like an animal, you don't have very much muscle mass, so you can probably build muscle. And lose fat at the same time if you're new. The trap bar is just easier. And it doesn't take as much recovery. So it's like... It's, I, I can still feel my traps in my legs, but it doesn't really beat up my lower back as much. Right? So I'm really going back. Getting after it. Getting some pumps today. Oh, that was a really fun stream last night, that wasn't, that was crazy, uh, crazy fun day. Looking forward to doing more of that, 100%, 100%, 100%. Oh, I don't, once again, I don't know about tonight, just because it's already pretty late. I feel like we're not going to be able to make the God of War, like, we're not going to give it, what it deserves tonight, like dress it up for it and stuff, but we might gain a little bit, but we'll see. We're gonna get the gym going first and then kind of go from there. The weekends, the weekends are oftentimes, they definitely have been scheduled, but they're sometimes like no gaming, but we'll see. Because I don't really get to start my, uh, like I get to do my stuff once Archer goes to bed, basically. Obviously, it's a little, well, I, did, I didn't know whether you do or not. But yeah, I mean, if, if you only been doing it two, three months, eating at maintenance, training like an animal, you probably build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Yeah. That's what I'd say. Happy boiler. All right, give me two seconds. I'm gonna go grab some BCAs real quick, all right? I'll be right back, though. Thanks for watching, though, guys. Yeah. Sounds good to me, Quino. Okay. Give me one sec. This guy's want to have some BCAs with this uh, this evening session. Here we go.
Let's get some of those going. Let's go. Working on them calf gains, you've got to. <laughs> All good, Boylan. Let's show how far you come. You, you can. Do it. That's what the gains tab in Discord's for. Perfect use of the, of the gains tab. Yep. The doctor banned you from going to the gym. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. No gym just because of your index finger? I guess shattering it is kind of a problem, but you don't want. That's my first playthrough of God of War, yeah. That's what we did yesterday. And we're gonna do more. Leg work, that's all I really focus on. You should get some upper body. Yeah, you should. Good for you. The whole, the whole, the whole system would probably appreciate that. You're not gonna get accidentally jacked. likely. But it'd be good for you. Yeah, so far it's been really fun, Bucket. I want to play more of it. Like I said, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it tonight just because of the kind of late night weekend schedule, but we'll see. First things first is we're getting to the gym. You know how it is. First things first, getting in the gym. We're taking it from there. You're not gonna accidentally build too much muscle. That's not, it's not, not gonna happen. You have to try to build muscle <laughs> and have to eat enough. So training your muscles, you're not gonna get this big beefy frame. You just have a stronger, healthier body. Just a bit of, just a little bit of pre-workout and uh, BCAAs. Yep. And guy two, two links to that prime man. Big flex of seven months, we appreciate it. But yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> You're not gonna get accidentally jacked. But it will help you just have a healthier, stronger body, and it'll carry over to other fitness goals. Would recommend it. Thank you, the dude for seven months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. I've known you for nine years. Jeez. Something feels down and can't go. Jeez. Sorry to hear that. But yeah. Gotta keep gotta keep working, man. Especially in those times where you're not feeling good. You gotta rely on that discipline. Rely on that those habits, let those carry you through not feeling great. Maybe change your goals too, right? Do something different. Or set goals even, right? If you're just going to the gym kind of aimlessly, maybe set some goals. Work us on building some muscle or getting stronger or building fitness in some capacity, right? Give yourself something to work towards. I don't know your situation, but those are the things that kind of spring in my mind, right? Uh, we have a lot of discipline to get it going. I'm glad the, the stream is helping you kind of get your mind right for it. Get to it. We got some work to do tonight as well, man. I mean, it's fun. Hex bar and leg isolation is a pretty fun workout, but still. Gotta get to it. We are doing it at the end of a long day, so. But we're in it. We're in it now. Where we want to 
be got a hammer. But yeah, so far God of War's been amazing. Love it. Fun gameplay, fun pacing. I get my ass kicked a little bit, but that's okay. That's alright. Did I already say my thoughts on Quinn's fan? I don't really know anything about it. I don't know why he got banned. I don't know anything about the situation. You ever do endurance training? Yeah, I was actually a, like a state caliber distance runner in high school and then into college. So I would say endurance training is like, probably like my second biggest focus over my athletic career. So. That's my advice for people starting into fitness or the gym in general, stay consistent, build that discipline, find something that you like to do that gets you excited to do your training, and watch the exclamation mark fat loss video to learn about uh, the basics of tracking your nutrition to help you accomplish your fitness goals or your body composition goals too. Yeah, I saw Quinn got banned and I saw some people were saying either it was React stuff or one of his kind of like in intentionally inflammatory cook takes. Like I don't, I, uh, I don't know, but hopefully they get that figured out and he can continue to do his thing in a way that's, you know, acceptable. But I don't really know, I'm not, I'm not really filled in on that one. I like Quinn's stream a lot, but I, I know that he says some he says some stuff to get people riled up on purpose, and maybe he just went too far with one of them, or it could have just been he was watching the wrong content on his React content. I don't know, like I said, so. Either way, I hope we get it figured out. Yeah, that's obviously a pretty stupid thing to say, right? I don't know if that's what got him in trouble, but I mean, that's, you know, one of those big examples of him saying something that's intentionally inflammatory and see what happens, you know? Absolutely yoked. <laughs> this 
probably gonna involve some resistance training and food. But specifically, we'll see. Okay, I haven't seen the video yet. We got banned because the comments about women. Gotcha. Okay, well, like I said, the, playing the game of being intentionally inflammatory to kind of generate negative feedback and negative discussion is a, is a risky game in general and, you know, that's a really stupid thing to say. You know, whether he genuinely feels that or not, and I guess he's gonna have a little TO for it, right? So that's I, I understand that's his style, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So might might have to learn from that, and you know, be his be his crazy, goofy self without relying so heavily on the uh, Omega Cook takes, right? So here we go. When you get the engines that way, sure. Yeah. You just gotta keep your calories kind of low. Clear understanding of what happened and gonna adjust from there. I mean, there you have it, I guess, right? So Nope, back's good. It definitely you, it, staying super lean will have a negative impact on some things, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Gaining, gaining weight doesn't have to cost that much money. I mean, an extra two to three hundred calories a day ain't that much money, you know? <laughs> it's just not. If what you're eating on a normal daily basis is keeping you around the same weight, adding two to three hundred calories per day is not very expensive. To achieve a surplus, so. If that's something that's holding you back, perhaps you, that doesn't need to hold you back if one of your goals is to gain weight. That's like eating, you know, an extra couple pieces of bread per day, you know? Or you have like one, you know, you have like two pieces of buttered toast, you know? That's like an extra 400 calories. And it, it doesn't have to be very expensive. One big ass scoop of peanut butter is like 300 calories, you know? That has to be very expensive to get a surplus. But I understand people's financial situations are different, and you know, you gotta do what makes sense to you, but I just wouldn't let it hold you back. I'm trying to bulk right now, but I have a hard time eating 4,000 calories every day. How much of a surplus is 4,000 calories? How much are you, uh, how much are you, uh, gaining per week doing that? Like, would 3,800 feel better? Because remember, you know, a surplus is just a form of progressive overload, just, you know, add calories slowly. 4,000 calories it doesn't sound too bad to me. But everybody's different, you know? Just thinking about it. Make sure just get more peanut butter. Yeah, type exclamation mark nutrition in the chat. Learn how to track your calories. I think it'll take a lot of the guesswork out of it for you. Spend less time kind of wondering what you need to do and why what you're doing isn't working and just kind of 
Get those numbers dialed in and we're good to go. Yep. Yep. Man's got to eat, Lance. Man's got to eat. Get in rhythm a little bit today. A little something, something. You know, like you, your total consumption will be a couple thousand calories probably, but going from where you are right now, if you're staying the same to gaining weight, will only be about a 200, 300 calorie increase probably. So. Five by five, sure. You help with pushing iron, helps with blood pressure or cardio? Yeah, I think it's just overall good for you. Yep. Yes, indeed. Because you need to be in a two thousand, like a. Listen, you just need to create a surplus in order for your body to start gaining. But yeah, I usually work up to some heavy stuff. Yeah. Right now we're just kind of pumping. Some weekend pumps. Having some fun. But yeah. Definitely can do like you know five by fives and stuff like that. That's cool, Bucket. Yeah, my sister got me this one. So the cosplay is Kratos Pump Guard. Did, did you watch yesterday's uh, stream? <laughs> when we were playing God of War? I'm gonna take a look at that. <laughs> Make sure you follow me on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, man. You gotta stay in the loop. Make sure you follow along on social media as well. Get on in there. Don't miss out. Moving fast these days. Grooving. Ah.
Uh, I don't know what that means, but no. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, hit him with a lance. Hit him with it. Might put us at 10 on the day. Not too shabby for a late night gym stream. Skin tearing bumps, that's right. Uh. A little bit of calf pumps. Right. I pump, yeah. Just when it just when it can happen, man. Just get it when I can. That's how it works sometimes. Especially on these weekends. Getting it. Getting it when we can. Yeah. Gotta do it. Woo! If you have got any Twitch frogs later on, hit that sub button. We'll take good care of it for you. That's for darn sure. Oh boy. One of it is a late workout, so you get a little bit more food in your system, but I don't eat that much today. Let's see what it is. Getting after it. That's a fresh one. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you. Thank you so much. Pumping us up. Late night leg pumps. time and now I can't move five days later that could happen keep going keep going how do you cover this in front of the camera I mean I've been streaming for a long time so she says what it is I mean, I'm comfortable in the gym and I'm comfortable streaming so you know I guess that kind of adds up right and instead of 45, so you can find the 15. Oh, noise. Oh, noise. Muscle under, muscle work out, your brain. <laughs> I know it's not a muscle, but you know what I mean. You gotta use your brain these days. <laughs> Maybe your heart. Uh, make sure your heart's healthy. Mostly using your brain though. That's, that's the most important thing. I got these uh, little wrestling shoes. I think they're called Adidas Mac Wizards. Little wrestling shoes. Ah. Yeah, you don't have to be sore after a workout in order to have gotten a good workout, but it's it's kind of nice, right? Not a good feeling. But being a little sore after a workout is different than not having gone to the gym for two years. Then you're just in shambles. That's a little different. <laughs> but that will. That will pass too, you just gotta keep doing the work. There's a price to pay for not hitting the gym for two years, so. 
The gods of gains demand their sacrifice. And they will have it. They will have it. I like being sore too. Yeah, it's nice. so much man big flex for you a big flex for all 50 gifties for the channel holy moly let's go dude absolute madman pop it off the big time 50 for the saturday night pumps oh my gosh thank you so much man hit that man with some big old bad slicks load in the chat Hog him up, hog him up. Jeez. Hooking him up with the team right there. Something fierce. Love to see it. Thank you, man. Oh. Hope let's get these Saturday night pumps going. My man. My man. Cancel. I wasn't sure if that was one of the gifted subs or not. Let me get you the flex, man. Thank you so much. Big flex for you. Glad to have you aboard, dude. Thank you, man. Yeah, no, I saw Papa. I just wasn't sure if it was going to announce every single sub, does it sometimes? And give me thank you for the prime as well, man. No, very glad to have you cancel. Thank you, dude. And please let me know if we missed you. Thank you, dude. Never a bad time to get that sub rolling. Thank you, man. Alright, let's swap it up and hit the uh, quads a bit. That's good handiwork, I think, for now. Need more weight here, too. Now it's gonna get interesting. This is the weight where it gets interesting. Right here. Right about here. Whoa! Look at some pumping jams coming through. Oh. This is where things get interesting. 380. Uh, must be a good little, little measuring tool to see where we're at. We feel this one. Thank you guys so much, so much for the support tonight, man. Just showing up to the gym stream and bringing the heat, bringing the good vibes. Hope you guys all had a great Saturday. What's up, Nerf? You're trying to build more muscle on the frame, but I feel like I've been making progress. Not for knowledge, thanks so much for the seven months. Big flex for it, appreciate it. How you been eating? How's your progressive overload? How's your volume? How's your food and how's your sleep? Those are the big ones right there, guys, we show. What's the difference between this from a sumo deadlift? It's, it's like, it's not a, as full of range of motion. So it, it puts less pressure on my lower back, but I still get some leg activation and upper back activation. I got the booster yesterday and I'm dying today, good God, yeah. So I got mine on Tuesday. I didn't feel great uh, the day after and I took it easy the day after that as well. And then yesterday, I felt pretty good. I got it on Tuesday. So yesterday I felt pretty good and today I feel all right. So, we're good. 
Yeah, I, I'm not competing during during you know this phase of the pandemic. Maybe at the end of the year we'll see. But I mean, I got plenty of time to make gains and focus on other stuff. So yeah, I'm with you though. Good job getting the, the booster though. Uh, Jay? <laughs> Holy crap, man! Is that another 50 for the homies? Big flex for you, and big flex for the additional 50. I'm pretty sure that's gonna get the hype train going for you guys. Oh my gosh. What a freaking legend, dude. Let's hit this, hit this set for this guy. My gosh, 100 gifted subs for the night. We gotta get some big old badge flex up in the chat, big old pogs in the chat for him. Pop it off, man, power us up. Something fierce for this late night set. Let's go, Jay Root. Let's go, big fella. Let me hit the set for you real quick. Oh, baby. Gotta bring it now. Gotta bring it now. Oh, get this thing moving, this big old boy. Let's go. Oh. Oh. No, no dirty bolt. Just lean. I would still say lean bolt. Oh, here we go. Let me hit the set. I've got some questions for you. Oh. I'm doing both. Both of what? I need mean, to stick to the surplus front build. But you just want to be getting enough volume, making sure that you're moving your, your weight lifting up, and eating enough. Woo! Yeah. The dream big to get everybody subbed up. Thank you so much, Jay. What a freaking beast. Uh, nice bearded. Glad to hear it, man. Jeez Louise. Jay Root the freaking legend. Oh, that feels good in my back for sure. That is nice. Did you see our stream last night, Del? You'd like it. We just started playing it last night. We're gonna play more of it. I don't remember the total cost, but it was, you know, we got some good stuff new, so it was a good investment. Yeah, it was pretty late at night, Dale House. We're gonna do more though. We'll do more at our normal. We'll do more at a more normal time uh, this week, a little earlier, and, and we'll have it. Uh, I'll be posting it on the, the the gameplay on the main channel. It should be fun. Probably have the first episode of tomorrow. If I had to guess. Be fun. Yeah, I love it so far. It's been great. Like really cool pacing and the story happens like like smoothly. It's good. I like listening to what we're listening to right now. It's kind of like instrumental rock for first streaming. Oh. Oh boy, this is a quad spiel. We've been pumping the hammies, but I'm gonna try to show these quads some love too.
Yeah, I gotta use, I gotta put those rings to use more. I do. Look at the custom Kratos. <laughs> I'd be down. But seeing as I have no acting experience, I don't think it's like that happen. Uh, you could, I mean, maybe Dern, I would ask whoever's telling you that you can't have the bar on your shoulders or arms. I would ask them if that's an okay way to do it. Because you still have to hold it, right? So, there's that. Right, so, you're still putting a lot of tension on your whole body, right? So, you need to ask them about that one. No, go try, don't. Don't take testosterone shots unless you need testosterone shots to stay healthy. Don't take medicine you don't need. If you want to build mass, eat more food. I don't recommend taking drugs, no. If you need testosterone therapy to stay healthy, that's one thing. But if you don't need it, don't take it. Let your body do what it does and eat more food and train hard. Get good sleep. Get some sun, you know. Take care of yourself, but no. You don't mess with that kind of stuff. Want to go back to training bodybuilding? Yeah, of course. This, this, is, this is training for it, yeah. This is training for it. I'm just kind of not competing while the pandemic is going nuts, right? Hey, Yulia, thanks so much for that raid. We're getting after it today. But a late night pump. Oh, if you guys are more welcome to come hang out. What's up, what's up? Thank you, Bacon. Mm. Oh, let's hit the set for the Raiders and for Yulia. Here we go. Oh, boy. Getting heavy now. Oh. What is that? Uh, 380 pounds right now. So the next time, my birthday's tomorrow, so whatever that is. Uh, eat good food though? Well, it's more about getting enough calories than anything, but more nutritious food is better. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Uh. Oh man. But uh, yeah, I, I plan to compete again. For sure. Definitely. What was I gonna mention? Oh, meal prep. Uh, so I mean, I work from home, so. I just like to make a bunch of rice ahead of time. I'm usually pretty good. Although I would say, we're, we're working with Factor Meals now, which is a service that would deliver prepped meals to your door. So if you're interested in doing that, I'll definitely check them out. You can use our code POGBAJIRA120 for $120 off, by the way. So saving you time and money on your groceries and prep meals. I'd look into that for sure. Yeah, for sure. Day three of prep, person back in the gym. Ooh, how'd it feel, Julia? Way to get it in. Way to get it in. Awesome, Raxus, that's great. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about Factor. I can't wait to try out some of their vegetarian and vegan meals. Pumped to work with them. Like I said, if you guys are interested, use our code to save you some money and you'll support us while you're at it, so. Pumped to have them as a sponsor. It should be a lot of fun working together. Oh, man. Well, thanks for your service, bro. I gotta ask you, though. I, I was seeing an ad about, uh, like, uh, suicide prevention and gun safety. And the ad kind of made it seem like uh, service men and women may eventually get tired of having people thank them for their service. Is that the case? Is it annoying to be thanked for your service? Because I 
genuinely mean it when I say it, or I'll stop saying it if it's annoying. I'm curious about that. Have you guys seen the Adam Switch that I'm talking about? I definitely don't want to be annoying by saying that. But, but I, I mean it, but... Once again, I don't want to be annoying. I'm vegetarian, I'm not, not full vegan, but... Uh, I still have, like, dairy products. Like, casein and whey protein and stuff. Oh! Well, it's a feeling, man. Man, it's not annoying? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay. No more cutting up chicken breast? Not for me. It gets annoying? Okay. Well, you can plug your ears, Rick Ball. <laughs> Alright, Yulia, thank you so much for the raid. Good work today. Stay with it. I'm glad you're back in the gym. Oh, when was that? <laughs> that was when Jay Root decided he was gonna bring the heat. <laughs> you can, we can thank him for that one. He said, all right, enough's enough. We are getting after it. It's pretty funny, huh? Enough's enough. We're getting some subs rolling today. But nah, vegetarian's been making me feel pretty good. Alrighty. Oh! No, I mean, I beat it when I say it. I mean, I get to have a cushy job hanging out with my family all the time. Thanks to what, you know, people have decided they were gonna do, put themselves at risk to, you know, do pretty rough stuff, so. For sure. This is our third one at, at 380, right? Alright. Uh. I mean, it's, like, it's just like one way of like acknowledging, you know? It's like, hey, I see you. You know, I see you. You know? Like. There we go. Oh, man. Oh. Throw 400 on there. 400 sounds better than 380. Woo! Let's warm it up. Yeah. 400 sounds better than 
No mercy on these sub charts, man. Thank you so much. Another 25 gifties, putting his grand total for the last like 20 minutes at 125 with the subs for the team. Jeez Louise. The advantage of this one is it's less taxing. It's easier. While still getting like good, good like upper leg activation and good upper back activation with, without as much like lower back. It's kind of what it feels like. All right, Quinn, let me know when you want me to send you some more stuff. I've got some pretty devastating Fury PvP clips. For like a like a montage, like a, like a Fury, like a Fury PvP baseline that we can maybe do. Let me know. Some devastating stuff. Uh, thank you so much, Fury. My God, just crushing it, man. That kind of support is just unbelievable. It means so much, man. Not only like the direct support for me and Jenny uh, in our project, but like you believing in us, believing in what we're doing enough to want support to that degree is tremendous. So I take the support, I take the encouragement, I take the belief in what we're doing, and I carry that forward, man. It means a lot. You investing in our community and the content this way. It means the world to me, dude. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Helping us kick some butt tonight. This late night set. I'm about to add some more weight to these quads, I think. But maybe if I do 20 reps, I won't need more weight, huh? Played New World yet? Yeah, yeah. I played a lot of New World. Really enjoyed it. You gotta check out some uh, <clears throat> some of those you know months of videos we were posting. Maybe check out some of the New World highlights. Once again, if you guys are interested, follow along on all the different content creation and social media platforms. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you like it, White Knight? Yeah, I, I like that picture. I, I like that profile picture. It's kind of cool. And we're going to play more God of War. So, like, I, I want to do, like, a... I think we should do a full playthrough of that, man. That's, like, we've been pl playing some different story games. Like, I like The Witcher a lot. I want to play more of that. I love Monster. I want to play more than that, but, like... I don't know, man. We'll see. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Oh, it does kind of bring out the red, though, doesn't it? But yeah, I think we can... We can maybe fit a full playthrough of God of War in before February, right? Even if it's mostly, you know, going to be uh, next week, right? Like, during the week, rather than the weekend. Uh, what it's looking like. Okay. 400. I'm thinking 3 by 5 here. We're going to see how it goes. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, come on now. That's heavier than that, but that feels pretty good tonight. Woo! At the end of a long day. Yep. Oh. Woo! That's good. 
Got more of those. For sure. For sure. We know where we're at for today's workout. <clears throat> I'll chuck a three by five up right there. How many calories a day? Right now, it's probably about 3,200. Pretty tight. Pretty tight on the uh, calories right now. Not going nuts. Keeping it pretty sharp. Still trying to be in a surplus, but not, not going real crazy. I weigh probably about 197, 198 right now. At 511. Uh, not real lean, but not real chubby either. Somewhere in between. <laughs> we're, all, we're on the way up. Ideally. It's not, not in a big rush.
legs, but you know, I'll do these little calf raises between every set of legs pretty much. Yeah. Love the cable machine, I love it. It's great. Yeah. Uh oh. You felt a discomfort in one of your quads. Keep an eye on it. What kind of discomfort? Keep an eye on it. Uh, you can get my quads, my calves definitely will feel it even with body weight. Ugh. If you focus on me. Ah, control. Yeah, you can foam roll it, yeah. Let's get some blood in there, moving around a little bit. But yeah, that's a lovely gym. I like this shirt a lot, this Gymstar shirt. I can't wear it on the gaming stream because it's kind of green, so. Yeah, I get green screen. <laughs> Like part of the gym. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of the gym truck stuff. They sent me a lot of really sweet stuff over the, the years doing our sponsored work together. But I definitely bought quite a bit as well. I, I bought a lot from my dad too, he loves it. <laughs> so definitely shout out to gym truck on that one. Forward to continue working with them over the years. You guys can also check out our our apparel too. Exclamation mark merch. We'll link to our games and games uh, brand stuff out uh, designed by humans. Type exclamation mark Jim Shark and see if that link still does anything. But uh, no, we don't have like a a code for them, unfortunately. It'd be cool though someday. <laughs> a more official long-term partnership. It'd be cool. Oof. Oh, man. All right. We gotta do one more set of the big heavies. <laughs> That's so crazy. We've had more individual subs and resubs than bits today. Thanks to uh, J Root and all you guys. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. Absolute insanity. 100% check out Legion for any supplements that you're looking for. They are fantastic. Absolute dream sponsor of ours. Definitely want to continue pumping them up. This is supplements that I've been using and loving too. Like, their green supplements are great, their multivitamins are great, their shaker bottles are great. I mean, they're the real deal. In addition to the pre-workout, creatine, protein, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I'd say it's worth training with apps directly. It's more like abs are revealed by low body fat. But they're a muscle, and if you want to build it, you, want, you gotta train it. So, definitely. Should we swap the Legion? Yeah. I mean, that's what I use and recommend it and sponsored by them so we can get you, you know, benefits of using it. I would say the, in my experience, C4 is a lot more in my head, and it's kind of a, a quick hitting, but also kind of falls off a little bit. With the Legion, it's more like, I, I get like a real good full body pump, and it's like a steady state energy kind of thing, which I like a lot. It, it doesn't really hit you as hard in the head, but it kind of, you kind of just flow into feeling good and having good energy. And then the pump is the real deal for sure, so. Yeah, Legion is no BS product, just good stuff. 100% recommend it, yeah. Yep. All right. All right. 
What, what are you looking for, Santi? Yeah, you'll notice that Legion just has like no proprietary blends. It's just basic good stuff. And if you go to the Legion website, it'll show you all the ingredients. It'll tell you what they do. And then it'll give you scientific literature to support those claims. So it's the real deal. Once again, it's backed by science, proven by you. That's their thing, so it's the real deal. And our dream sponsor, man. So cool. All right, we gotta do one more set. Gotta summon our will. And hit this last one. There, yeah, exactly. It's good ingredients at, at the appropriate dosages. Yep. It's really good. And what's fun is they make a stim and a non-stim. So, okay, if you don't want as much caffeine, you just get the stim and non-stim, do like one scoop of the stim, one scoop of the non-stim. It just pumps up pretty nice. Okay, here we go. One more set of this. And then I'm probably gonna drop the weight off and do some shrugs. But yeah, Legion's the real deal. Exclamation mark Legion. And if you need some help deciding what supplements to get, you can look at my unboxing video, or you can take the exclamation mark legion quiz. That's pretty cool too. All right, here we go. Now we're sponsored by uh, Legion Hour Times. So that's where you, that's where you get it from. The player pulse. I like the blue raz the best. Fruit punch is good. Even like grape is good. But the blue raspberry is my favorite. And fruit punch is always a classic. Okay, here we go. This need to do three, I think, it'd be good. Then we'll go from there. Mm. Oh, come on now. Expensive, yeah, but it's, it's 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 as good quality as it gets. It's well worth it. And once again, you get twenty percent off your first order, and then double rewards points every time after. So keep that in mind. See if I wear it, yeah. Yep, three time rank one warrior. Like twenty something glad time. <laughs> Whew. I'm gonna throw this on there just for clarity. Because we did do this. Okay. Here we go. Let's do some shrugs at a little bit lighter weight. That was good though. Man! Woo! Yeah, the Legion site is. So, so well done. Yeah. Do I play Warrior because I work out? <laughs> I think it all goes together. I think, it all just, I think it all just goes together. I don't really work out because I play Warrior. I don't really play Warrior because I work out. I am who I am. So I work out and play Warrior, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just who I am. I still like to drink EAAs. It's funny that Legion, the science on BCAAs and EAAs is not strong, so they don't make them. They're like, we don't make them. We know there's money to be made there. It's a popular supplement, but there's not science really to support their efficacy, so we don't make them. So, I can respect it. All right, just do a few shrugs. Yep. <laughs> Time to get back in the gym, Rakan.
Ah. I drink, I drink creatine, right? So the creatine comes from their recharge supplement. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just don't like, I just don't want to drink whey protein during a workout. I just like the way BCAs make me feel in, in for workout, so I take them. <coughs> uh, but, whatever. But yeah, their, their plant protein is fantastic, their whey protein is fantastic, and I'm obsessed with their casein protein. I love it. I'm obsessed. Absolutely obsessed with it. The song is in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, on the screen there. It's a new guy that I found. Another guy laying down some sweet uh, instrumental jams. And I love it, you know, love it. Love it. Pretty sweet, huh? Why keep your belt lashed after the lift? I don't know, it's just, it's, it's not uncomfortable, I guess. You have like, just to continue this, it's like you have big strong muscles in your legs and glutes and you have big strong muscles in your back and, and connecting them with your core kind of helps them work together with a big weight. Dead bugs and we got big three belt become useless. Useless is a strong word, but I definitely recommend those movements, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I've tried everything, they're fantastic, Mike. Yeah. I even like their greens and like multivitamins. Like they just make really good stuff. I would recommend their green supplement. I'll say the the acai berry uh, tastes better than the Genesis greens, but they're both good. Recharge. I mean, they're both a green supplement, so you got to get used to it. Got to kind of choke it down a little bit, but. The acai berry is tastier. I am up. Wait. Oh, man. Here we go. Uh, yeah, definitely recommend doing the McGill Big 3. That kind of stuff. For sure. I can do more of that. I usually do that when I get hurt. <laughs> Which isn't often, so I need to do it more. Yeah, the, the cool thing about is that they don't really make like a ton of products, so if you go to their website, you can kind of check them out and see what's going to be a fit for you. They don't make a ton of stuff, but, they, but everything they make is just good, scientifically supported, good stuff. So uh, it's just a dream sponsor. It's perfect for us, how we do things around here. Definitely recommend you guys check them out. for Make them your go-to supplement company, then use our link and code while, you, while you're at it. This, 
you weigh this in there, this high, is that bad? What do you mean? What do you mean, is it bad? 216. Like, are you okay with that? Do you want it to be different? Like, are you supposed to take yellow carnitine before your workout? I don't think carnitine is like that time sensitive, but go for it. I'm gonna like the liquor, yeah. Lifelong gym rat, yeah. Yeah. You can spend 500 plus on their site in a heartbeat. <laughs> well, if you do, make sure you use the code Vajira. Get 20% off. <laughs> Depending on training, the five, six rep range are going heavier. Um, that sounds fine. I usually would work up to that. On the gain center, well, there you go. Check it out. Show some love. The gain channel is relatively new, but I just figured I'd make a, make a home for the gym content. Because YouTube kind of doesn't seem to like it on the main channel. Just put it somewhere. Yeah, I've been into this for a long time. <laughs> been a gym rat kid for a long time. I don't know if that's what this for this. Now creatine is not a stimulant. All I think it's probably gonna interfere with your sleep is caffeine, I guess. But creatine is not a stimulant. Ugh. Take creatine anytime. You can take the recharge before you work out if you want to. You can take any time. Post workout's fine though. They're just rubber horse mats from uh, Tractor Supply. That's cool, huh, Pino? Appreciate you guys hanging out. It's kind of a late sesh, but appreciate you being here. Bit of a late one. Get some work in. The legs, the back of traps. I've cleaned them now. They were they were stored outside, so they were fine. Some people say that they uh, have like a smell, but I, these never really have that issue. I think it's because they were stored uh, outside. But take creatine at night to help recovery when you're sleeping. Uh, not really. Creatine is more like something that you just just make sure that you take enough of. Doesn't really have like an acute effect. So creatine is just something that your body uses like in, to create cellular energy in your muscles. So what you're doing by taking creatine is just making sure you have enough of that ingredient, basically. Because you're not really gonna usually get enough of that ingredient from food. So you supplement with creatine. Just to make sure you have enough something that's good. Creatine increases pump energy. On a cellular level, it increases your cellular energy in the video. It helps with ATP production. But creatine also, because of the, the ingredients that are needed for that, that cellular reaction, it does also pull more water in your muscle. But a hydrated muscle is a healthy muscle, that's good. Is it true that with more than five grams of nothing? Well, not necessarily. It's just you probably don't need more than that because once your muscles have enough creatine, you, more isn't really going to do anything for you, so, yeah. Oh. Let's read the rest of your hair? No. Yeah, creatine, like I said, so if, if there's like a pump element to the creatine, is some people will really hold a lot of water in their muscle with creatine. But once again, that's not a bad thing. So. Harrison, <laughs> I feel like we just hit you with it, but we hit you with it again thanks to the Four months, man. But yeah, so creatine actually has to do with the ATP production in your muscle. ATP being like the, the unit of like like energy source for your muscles. So it actually helps you contract your muscles. And 
So it gives you a little bit more strength and a little bit more endurance. And over time, that little bit of extra strength and endurance can equate to more reps. And over time, more reps can, can equate to more muscle being built or being stronger, so. That's basically what creasing does. Helps you just hit with a little bit, teeny tiny bit more strength and endurance. Over time, can it equate to gains. And once again, you're just giving your body something that it, that it needs, that you're just not gonna get enough of from diet. So five grams a day is plenty. Yep. So creatine is one of those like super simple, effective, safe supplements. You just take five grams a day, whatever you want, preferably the same, around the same time every day. Take it five, five grams a day for the rest of your life. Just make sure you have enough cellular energy. You know, like I said, you're not gonna retain a lot of water or anything. Some people do, but it's, but it's intramuscular, so it's good for you. Like, I, I took creatine every day, including the day of this show. Like, I'm not, hold, I'm not holding a lot of water. You know what I mean? Like, you're fine. Yeah, water in your muscle is a good thing. A hydrated muscle is a healthy muscle. Yeah, and, and it's super cheap. Creatine monohydrate is super cheap. I don't have like scheduled deloads, but uh, like if I need a couple of days or a day to go lighter, I will. I just gotta do it by feel. My workout programming, I do try to improve over time, but it's it's much more geared towards like enjoyment and well-being than it is like optimal for games. You know what I mean? So I just gotta train how I feel like. So today is kind of like a day where it's like we got some good work done, but a lot of it's just kind of getting here and just playing in the gym on the weekend, you know? So. Anyway, we have three more sets. And then I gotta go eat. Got to go eat, but yeah. Some people complain about the puffy not trim. The, the thing about that is, it's not. Creatine's not gonna make you look puffy. Body fat is gonna make you look puffy. You know what I mean? So. Thoughts on those legal natural test boosters? Um, if, it, if it's legal and natural, it doesn't have side effects, it probably doesn't have a whole lot of like main effects either. But you can try it and see if you like it, I guess. I, I haven't heard of that one. But that's generally how it works. If something is legal, safe, no side effects, it's probably not very effective in the first place. But if you want to give it a try and there's no side effects and it's legal and natural, then sure. See, see, if you like, see if you like the way it makes you feel, I guess. Right? But like what Bucket's saying is like you can also just save your money and not waste your time. If you wanna if you wanna make bigger gains, then you know, eat more carbs. <laughs> you know what I mean? But <laughs> eat more carbs. Get get more get more sleep. You know? And don't worry about your testosterone. <sighs> oh. Like if you're exercising and eating well and getting good sleep, your testosterone is probably fine. And if you're really worried about your testosterone, then you can go talk to a doctor about that, but chances are you don't need to be wasting your time and money on like test boosters. But things like ashwagandha, go for it. But you're probably not taking that for testosterone boosting, you're taking that for just general well-being. And it's just an herbal thing. Right? Because the thing, the thing about it is those kind of supplements that are test boosting, they, they may not boost your test at all. And if they do, it's not an amount that's gonna have any impact on your muscle building or fat burning, right? But for you, Drew, if ashwagandha like, helps you have a better mindset, a better you know, positive like, mood, then take that. Absolutely. But once again, it's not gonna, it's not gonna boost your testosterone a meaningful amount. But if you wanna try it, go for it, you know? And if you like it, then, then yeah, like, power to you, man. But I think, I think people worry about their testosterone too much. <laughs> Probably, right? I, I've used the balance a little bit. I, I don't feel like I have gut issues. So. 
Nothing that you can buy legally without side effects is going to boost your testosterone. A meaningful amount. And things that do boost your testosterone a meaningful amount are going to make your body stop producing testosterone and potentially mess up your organs and your hormones forever, right? So, you don't need to do it, right? Just train, eat, get, get sleep. You're good to go, right? Your, your body will take care of itself if you do those things. And if for some reason your body is not taking care of itself and your testosterone ain't right, ashwagandha is not going to fix it for you, you know what I mean? Like, you need to go talk to a doctor. But, ashwagandha is good stuff, so take it if you like it, for sure. See, see if you do like it. But don't expect it to boost your testosterone, right? I'm just trying to manage expectations is all. You can absolutely take those things. But generally taking a pill and expecting it to have big impacts is something that's going to disappoint you and potentially lead you to make bad decisions, right? If you're not focusing on your training and your diet and your sleep, and you're just imagining you can just take some pill and have it change you, then I think you've got the wrong idea. And then, because what I don't want you to do is be like, well, that pill didn't work. i got to find a different pill. <laughs> you know, that thing didn't work. i got to start taking, you know, some shots. And that's like, that's a bad path, right? When all you really need to do is just eat more food, you know, if you want to grow. If you want to be stronger, you just need to eat more, you know? Like, and you're missing the point the entire time and you're going down a path that's actually going to make your health and your life worse, right? So, something to, something to consider, right? Getting that sleep is the hardest thing for me too, yeah, definitely. Yep, definitely. Thoughts to grow some good muscle, of course, yeah. Of course. Yeah. That sucks, Dern. You gotta, you gotta get in a deficit. There's no way around it. Yep. And let me tell you, if you take a pill that puts you in a deficit on its own, that's dangerous stuff. <laughs> that's, that's doing some sketchy stuff to your body. If you don't change any of your habits, you take a pill and it puts you in a deficit, whoo boy, that is messing you up. What does the diet pill contain? Who the hell knows? There's a lot of different ones. Some of them contain meth. Some of them, have you, <laughs> I mean, haven't you seen all those like ads? Like, if you or your loved ones have taken this diet pill, you're entitled to compensation because that shit fucked you up. Like, have you seen that? Don't take that stuff. Keep it simple. Let me once again refer you to our sponsor, Legion that doesn't put weird shit in their supplements. It just puts tested, effective uh, ingredients at tested, effective doses without fluff or filler or crap, right? So, yeah. Just don't bother. Just get, get the work done. Build the discipline. You got this. You know? Don't bother messing, just messing yourself up. How many push-ups can I do in a day? A lot. In a day? I could probably do a lot of push-ups in a day. So. Is 175 pounds a good weight for a 14-year-old rep 10 and do three sets on? Sure. Sure. Wherever you're at is probably fine. Just keep trying to get better. How much am I going to do in two minutes? How many did I do in the power game? A lot. For me. I thought I, I, thought I did a lot. Two minutes, I thought I did a lot. Back chest. <laughs> back chest. What are you back chesting? There we go. Oh. Isn't green tea a good supplement for cutting the diet? Not necessarily. In order to lose fat, you need a deficit. You're not going to escape that. Uh, exclamation mark fat loss if you're curious. <laughs> I don't think I can eat muscle ups. <laughs> muscle ups are like a, a technique thing, and I haven't I haven't practiced that technique, so probably not probably not even one. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think I can do one. I, I, like I said, I don't have to practice. 
They take practice. <laughs> How fat loss occurs is, is caloric deficit. It is what it is. High pressure do in a row? A lot. <laughs> for, well, I, for me, it feels like a lot. Got a game now. Let's see about it. Let's see about it. Here you go, Team Farmer. Watch this video. Probably around 3,200 calories a day. I think a leaner bulk makes more sense these days. I'm not sure. That's what I was just talking about. I'm not sure. Shoes you want. I just, I personally like something with just like a like a flat rubber sole on it, so it doesn't really have like like you don't want a lot of padding on a lifting shoe because you don't want to like it doesn't, you don't want it to wiggle on your weight. Should you push yourself when doing push-ups or just do them until you're tired? I mean, 
we talked about this a teeny bit. What you can do is you can do a set of push-ups till you're tired, take a break, and then do more sets instead of doing like one set as many as you can. Top prepared exercise not the usual compound lifts? Oh, I don't know, man. I'm a big fan of the compound lifts. What, what, maybe like rack pulls, lateral raises, bicep curls? <laughs> I don't know. Those are, those are some good ones. Crunches. Ugh. Those, those will do. Alright, let's get another set of these and then we'll uh, probably wrap it up. Not too shabby for a little Saturday Night Pump though. And j rope man, holy crap dude, the insane gift itself bonanza. It's an absolutely hard carry to squat tonight. A little late night gym. Just popping off. Making sure we get some productivity for the day, man. We love to see it. We love to see it. But yeah, if we hop back on for the games, I'm probably just gonna play Monster Hunter. <laughs> we'll see. Well, I did hamstring curls earlier. Should I hear popping for any way you do leg extensions? Well, it's not like everybody has to hear popping, but it's also not like, not necessarily a huge concern. You got muscle in the left pec even though I don't work out, okay. Cool, I mean, everybody's got muscles. <laughs> I mean, some people are born without muscle in certain areas or whatever, but for the most part, muscles are on your body. Whether they're developed or not is a different thing. Hmm. I don't know about a six hour gaming stream. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> That'll be like a three hours tops. <laughs> Once again, it's not, it's not that you have a, your six pack is invisible. It's there. We all have about the same kind of like, you know, muscle anatomy. Different insertions, but it's all pretty much there. It's a matter of whether or not it's developed and how much body fat you got, I suppose, right? But like I said, the anatomy is pretty much all the same. We did eight hours yesterday. Bro, I went to sleep at 6 a.m. yesterday and I woke up at 8.45. So, I don't know if we're doing that again. No, I, I, I like bodybuilding training the most and even though bodybuilding competition is kind of weird, it's also kind of fun. But I respect powerlifting and strongman, but it's not, it's not the kind of training that I enjoy the most. I do bodybuilding so I do the training for it. That's the main thing. But yeah, that was pretty solid. Um, tomorrow, I'll probably do some chest tomorrow. Some late, oh, that'd be fun. Some late, late night chest. Oh, baby. No find the chest on the positive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got, a, we got a real good community around here, man. If you guys are new, I would love to have you follow the stream. We're, we're here pretty much every day. Kicking butt in the games and gains. It's a lot of fun hanging out. We've been doing this for 10 years plus now, man. It's it's a dream come true, and the community continues to grow and evolve and progress, and I love it. Meeting new people who vibe with our content, that's the dream. So if that's you, follow the stream. Follow me on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Check it out. Is front double bicep my favorite pose? No, I don't think so. I think my front double is actually kind of weak. Um, I think my favorite pose is this kind of like quarter turn business for physique right now. Because all the serrate is pretty good. 
It gives me the illusion of a V-taper. <laughs> That's a killer pose right there. That puts a hurt on people. Now I'm, I'm getting it to my I'm getting it to my back is gonna be putting hurt on people too. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, I'm gonna put the hurt on people. If I, if I get my back going the right way, I'm gonna get my shoulders going a little the right way. Good. Yeah, that's the killer right there, man. That's the, that's the, bang! Dust him, dust him. Hit him with the, take it to him. And then you turn it back, bang! Hit him back, mm! It's coming, it's coming. And then when, when I do classic physique, we have to hit him with the, you have to hit him with the claws. Okay, let me step into the light. Hit with the hammies. Bang. Ow. Hit him with the hammies. Ow. Ow. I gotta get that letter here. Ow. Take it to him. Ow. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, exactly, Lance, exactly. All right, let's wrap it up here on a good note. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for showing love. If I see you guys tonight for a little bit of Monster Hunter, that'd be fine. If not, know that I am sweetly sleeping in my bed, getting some rest for, uh, Another day tomorrow, but I think we can probably help off for a little bit of games. It's just if I'm feeling blasted, then we'll see. But either way, thanks for watching. Thanks for a great gym stream. Make sure you follow along on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. We'll see you guys next time, whether that's tonight or tomorrow. Either way, appreciate the love. Thanks for watching, and peace. Let's take this guy off there. Here we go.